morning, Lincoln Links. Welcome back. My name is Grace Stein. And I'm Angela Mana, and this is the Lincoln Links News Podcast, where we'll keep you up to date with the events that are happening in the school and community. For our podcast today, we will be covering the topics of the weather's effect on mood, cabin fever, and the impact social media has on us. Does cabin fever and the weather affect your mood? Do you think it affects your mood? I think so. I think it makes you dreary and you don't get to see anyone, so you're just isolated by yourself. So I think it definitely affects your mood. I do. agree. And some scientists agree, too, because they conclude there is a link between weather and mood. And not every study finds this a clear connection, though. Exactly, because in 2008, a study found that weather had essentially no effect on positive mood. Explained another way, more sunlight and better temperatures didn't make a happier person. This case was a link between the two began to emerge in the late 70s and the early 80s. I agree. A little bit. I, I like in the summertime, summertime, I'm like super happy and excited to be outside. But in the winter, not as much. And I think the weather does have an effect on that. But like if we're coming down to it, I don't know if weather has a, a breakdown on how you're personally feeling. Yeah, exactly. Because there's other factors outside of the weather that definitely impact your mood. Yeah. And a 1984 study looking at a variety of mood variables from anxiety and depression to optimism and aggression. In the context of several weather variables, they talked about the amount of sunshine, precipitation, temperature, wind, humidity, and pressure, and they kind of discussed about how it affects your mood. Right, exactly. So what are some ways you spend time in cabin fever? Like, what do you do to get your mind off things? I know video games is a huge one. It is easy to access being inside, but I also like to hang out with family, watch TV with them, and I love to read. That's great. What are... I guess, do you have social media? Because I know that is a big factor in being bored with cabin fever, stuck at home, nothing to do. I do have social media. I have Instagram and Snapchat. I do not have TikTok, however. Do you have any social? Do you find yourself spending a lot of time on during cabin fever? Yeah, definitely. Definitely on TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram, mainly TikTok, though, because I can just get lost in it for hours on end and not have to worry about anything. Well, all of this use of being on social media sounds pretty cool, right? Well, that's where you're wrong. The company that owns Instagram, Meta, formerly known as Facebook, conducted research on what positive or negative effects Instagram has on its users. The research actually conducted by their own company proved that Instagram promotes anorexia-related pictures to both young and old audiences, making users more prone to depression suicide and nurtures bad body image and self-esteem issues. Needless to say, the results of said research were inevitably leaked to the press. Have you found yourself comparing yourselves to other people being like on Instagram and stuff? Oh yeah, like models and like swimsuit models and like even people that have gotten like body like their body done and it's super obvious and you're just like, shoot. Yeah. I wish I looked like that. Even though it's totally unnormal. Yeah, it builds like goals that you'll never meet or you don't have a reason to even meet them mm-hmm. either. New York, California, and Florida had a handful of other states assigned to their attorneys general to investigate the techniques utilized by Meta to increase the frequency and duration of engagement by young users. So, like, I've noticed a lot of people on social media. I have a sister, and she's on there all the time. So, whatever they're doing is working. Mm -hmm. And this is resulting in harms because it causes such extended engagement. So, they're spending hours on it. In other words, the tactics that Meta uses to make Instagram addicting and why or how it is harmful. Exactly. And as more results are being exposed by Meta, they continue to defend themselves, saying that the attorneys are making false accusations. However, I think that the company delayed the the release of a new app and Instagram for children under 13, despite arguing that they are being misunderstood. Personally, I don't think that children under 13 need social media at all. I agree. There's no reason, and there's so many people out there, like, creepy people can be making profiles saying that they're 10 years old, being friends with other 10 years old, and they're not, and I think it's just it really dangerous. Yeah, dangerous. Yeah, no, I agree. But on a completely different note, our broadcast crew's Instagram page has nothing than a welcoming, fun-loving environment. If you want to find out more behind the scenes or just want a good laugh, check out our Instagram at Link and Links News. Hello, I'm Organic Owen, and I'm here joined with Damien, and today we're going to be talking about some delicious snacks you might want to eat when you're stuck inside the house all day. Damien, what's one of your favorite snacks to eat when you're stuck inside? 
Probably have to go with the old Cliff Bar. I like to eat my Cliff Bars. So that yeah, was pretty good. Got lots of fiber, protein. You know, mm -hmm. pretty delicious. Yeah. yeah. Easy to find. It yeah. It really depends on where you're looking. Yeah. Sometimes grocery stores just a lot of them. Yep. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious uh, snack that just about anybody can make if you have all the ingredients. Ooh, okay, tell me about it. Um, so first, you need to get yourself a banana. Chop mm -hmm. the banana up with some bite-sized pieces. P take your choice of peanut butter, creamy, smooth, um, chunky, chocolate. I like chocolate peanut butter because I have a sweet tooth. Okay. Um, spread the peanut butter on the bananas. Then you take uh, whatever kind of nuts you like, um, pecans, uh, cashews, almonds, whatever you like. Sprinkle the nuts on top of the uh, peanut butter and, and the banana, and then you squish it all together into these graham crackers. Squish it together. Um, okay. They could be, you know, whatever kind of graham crackers. I like to use the cinnamon ones. It gives it a little bit of extra. What's that? Bite. Yeah, bite, yeah a little bite to it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's super good. So like, like a healthy s'mores, kind of. Yeah, except not really, because they're not that healthy, but, you know. But They're yeah. good anyway. Yeah, okay. It's better than chocolate and marshmallow, so. Mm -hmm. Well, healthier than an average s'more. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah, I guess that wraps it up, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much wraps it up. All right, well, this has been Organic Going, and my co-host, Damien. Yeah. All right, else, we guess we'll see you guys later. All right. Bye. Hello and welcome back to Movie Review in voice format. Uh, this week we are reviewing Dead Poets Society with Andrea. Hello. Dead Poets Society is a coming of age movie about high schoolers learning their creative roots within a military school, essentially. Yeah. And they also explore their love for poetry and English once a kind of weirdo teacher comes into their lives. Yeah, a very influential teacher mm -hmm. known as Robin Williams himself. Yep. He broke into the set and started playing a teacher. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the movie? I'd say the ending. It's the stand up scene is amazing. No, it was nice to see them all come together at the end, especially for a friend like that. But we don't want to spoil yeah. it, so you have to watch it to find out. Yeah, watch it yourselves, you yeah, lazy cretins. <laughs> no, I highly recommend it, and that is why I asked my dear friend to watch it. Yeah. <laughs> Great friends, we definitely talk all the time. All the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> well, that's all for this week. Thanks for joining us, and have a great day. Bye. Hello, this is Damien with your Weekend Weather Report. Today I'm filling in for Tristan, and I'm also joined with Jenna. Hello. And let's start off with talking about the weekend. So it's going to look like it's going to be staying right around freezing temperatures, but it's going to be sunny all weekend with a little bit of clouds rolling over. So it's going to be pretty nice overall. You know what that means. What does that mean, Jenna? Bundle up and put your sunscreen on. Yes, it does. That's all we have for today, folks. So, catch you later. See you next time. Hello, everybody. I'm Jenna, and I'm here with my friend Damien. Hello. Today, we're going to talk about sports. All right. Well, you should tell me a little bit about sports, then. Let me tell you, Damien. With dwindling numbers, our girls' basketball team has had a pretty patchy start. Mm -hmm. Um... We haven't had any wins since the tip-off tournament. Shoot. I know. But with six people, it's it's pretty straining. Yeah, it's probably pretty hard to play with only six people. Yeah. And the boys were in a similar boat at the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. But the future is looking really promising um, as their team got 11 people, which means that they have varsity, JV, and an, ex an extra sub. So... Hey, there you go. Yeah, that's really awesome. That, that is pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. um, a bunch of our games have gotten rescheduled because of road conditions and COVID. Mm. So stay tuned about schedule changes and how our new JV boys are doing. Mm -hmm. 
Well, definitely have to stay tuned for that. Yeah. Um, congratulations to us for getting third place for the broadcasting event at Business Professionals of America. Oh, yeah. We got third place for that bad boy. Heck, yeah. Um, both our BPA high school and middle school chapters did really well at regionals, with 13 out of 19 of us going to state in Billings just a couple months from now. If you see a BPA member in the halls, be sure to congratulate them because they deserve it. Mm -hmm. They really do. They definitely put in the hard work for it. Yep. Well, that's all I got for you today. All right. Well, I guess that wraps up sports. Back to you. See you later.